Okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, gender stereotypes. These are all gener generalizations, right? This is what we think as a society when you hear that word, right? Um, do you think that these are necessarily negative or positive? Neither. Okay. Depends on your perception. Okay. Or both. Okay. It's very depending on who you are, right, and who you're talking about, and how you feel, right? Um, so, but this is an issue, right? We all think that a girl, her favorite color is going to be pink, right? What if she loves blue? What if a boy loves the color pink, right? We all hold them to those gender stereotypes of what they need to be to fit into a mold or a box of what we think as a society they should be. Um, we're going to do a scenario right here. So I want you to think it's going to be one of two ways. Um, I'm going to ask you a question first and it's going to be um, from a male perspective and then it will be from a female perspective. Okay. Um, first one is Chris likes Alex and wants to go out on a date. Chris is a boy and Alex is a girl. What should Chris do? Her out. Yeah. Okay. Just think. Walk up to her and ask her out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's flip it. Chris is now a girl. Alex is a boy. Chris wants to ask him out. What does she do? Give what? hints. Give hints. Maybe what else? Talk to her friends. Talk to her friends. What else? Anything else? She could ask him out. <laughs> okay. She could. Right? Which she has every right to do. Yeah. Why doesn't she? Because boys are supposed to ask girls out. Correct. Says society. <laughs> Says society, right? That's a gender stereotype, correct? Okay. Um, let's go a little further. Uh, Chris and Alex have been dating for two months. Chris finds out that Alex is seeing someone else. In this situation, Chris is a girl. What does she do? Chris knows that her boyfriend is seeing someone else. What does she do? She should break up with him. Break up with him? What else? She's very upset and hurt. She cries. Okay. Um, she maybe should. post on social media bad things about their Bad boyfriend. mouth them, right? Anything else? Start rumors. Start rumors, right? With they date someone else. Date someone else, all to kind of get back at them, right? Okay. Flip it. Uh, Chris is the boy now, and Alex is the girl. And Chris finds out that his girlfriend is with someone else. What does he do? Fight. Fight who? The new boyfriend. The new, boyfriend. new boyfriend. Okay. What else could happen? Might call her a slut. Okay. Slut shaming. It's very big in high schools now. So in this, um, let's say when Chris is the girl and she finds out her boyfriend's cheating. And she goes up and punches him or slaps him for cheating. How would you feel about that? Do you think that's... If you saw that in the hallway at school, what would you think? She's dramatic. She's dramatic. Okay. Aggressive. Aggressive. Okay. Flip it. Chris is the guy who knows his girlfriend's cheating and he goes up and hits her. What's the reaction then? He's abusive. He shouldn't have done that. What do people, when they see a guy hit a girl, what usually happens? Other guys jump him, like start fighting him. Because, Get really mad, right? Yeah. But what happens when a girl hits a guy? Girls cheer. Oh. Everyone steps back like, whoa. Yeah, it just surprises people. Is, so with Chris being the guy in this scenario, is he abusive? He hits his girlfriend. Is that abusive? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So why is it when a girl hits a guy, it's different? Because we don't see um, girls as abusers in mainstream media or what we what we have as our image of what an abuser is. It's not a woman usually. Why? Well, I think we just see um, see more like publicized stories about men abusing women. Um, I think it's often the case, but we don't give attention to. Um, situations where a woman might be abusing a man. Okay. Do you think that goes into because a female is soft and delicate and sensitive, a little bit quiet, a mom figure, right? 
but it doesn't matter. Abuse is abuse no matter what happens, no matter if it's male or female. I just got done going over session six, overcoming gender stereotypes. Um, I think in this section, it's going to open up a lot of conversation and dialogue with the teens about what they really think roles of women and men are. Um, they, a lot of them come from very, very dominant male roles in life where the men are the ones who go to work and uh, they provide for the family and the women stay at home. And that is going to change and affect their views on life, whether they think it's okay for a, a woman to hit a man, but it's not okay for a man to hit a woman. Um, those things are going to come up. Uh, the dialogue from the scenarios that happen can get very real and very heated. And I am a person that encourages going off on those dialogues because those conversations are real and those are what need to be happening for these teens to understand not only what gender stereotypes are, but what abuse really is, and seeing it that both men and women um, are affected by abuse. I'm always here as a resource if anybody needs any help, um, or just going over ideas, um, brainstorming ideas on how to present this. My email is annaresch at gslclubs.org. Um, that is A-R-E-S-C-H at gslclubs.org.